Hello everyone, this is Marissa Redenball and I'm your Juvenile Services Librarian. I'm here today to read you books about this week's theme, rain. Maybe you've experienced some of it lately. After I'm done, Rachel will come on and explain this week's craft to you. The first book we're going to read is called Rain by Linda Ashman. Pictures by Christian Robinson. Rain. Rain. Nasty galoshes, blasted overcoat, there goes my hair. Is it raining cats and dogs? It's raining frogs and pollywogs. Hippity hop. Good morning, sir. Hardly. Dang puddle. Good morning, young man. Ribbit. Enjoy your paper. <laughs> Just more bad news. How are you, Mr. Frog? Hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Finally. We're here. Coffee. Black. Cocoa and cookies, please. Yum. Delicious. Watch out. Sorry. Ribbit. His hat. Hey, wait. You. You. That one, too. Mine? Ribbit? Yum! Welcome back, sir. Ribbit. Well, that man started off grumpy, but it seems like he learned a happy lesson from his friend. The next book we have to read is called This is the Rain by Lola M. Schaefer, illustrated by Jane Wattenberg. This is the ocean. Blue and vast that holds the rainwater from the past. This is the sunshine, hot and bright, that warms the ocean, blue and vast, that holds the rainwater from the past. This is the vapor, moist and light, made when sunshine, hot and bright, warms the ocean, blue and vast, that holds the rainwater from the past. These are the clouds, low and gray, made when sunshine, hot and bright, warms the ocean, blue and vast, that holds the rainwater from the past. This is the rain. Falling all day, that forms in clouds, low and gray, full of vapor, moist and light, Made when sunshine, hot and bright, warms the ocean, blue and vast, that holds the rainwater from the past. This is the land, porous and dry, that absorbs the rain falling all day, that forms in clouds, low and gray, full of vapor, moist and light, Made when sunshine, hot and bright, warms the ocean, blue and vast, 
that holds the rainwater from the past. These are the puddles, big and round, that dot the land, muddy, wet ground. That absorbed the rain, falling all day, that formed in clouds, low and gray, full of vapor, moist and light, made when sunshine hot and bright, warms the ocean, blue and vast, that holds the rainwater from the past. This is the water seeking low ground that runs into ditches, that pours into creeks, that drains into rivers, that flow to the sea. This is the sunshine, hot and bright, that makes the vapor moist and light, that fills the clouds, low and gray, that bring rain somewhere every day. The end. What a wonderful way to think about the rain all completing its cycle. Okay, this one is called Singing in the Rain, based on the song Arthur Freed and Nasio Herb Brown. Picture, pictures by Tim Good, Hopgood. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above, the sun's in my heart and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase every one from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I walked on the lane with a happy refrain and I'm singing, just singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above, the sun's in my heart and I'm ready for love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain, and I'm singing, just singing, in the rain. So maybe next time you're in the rain, you can try singing, and maybe it'll make you happy. The next book we have is called Sometimes Rain, words by Meg Fleming, illustrations by Diana Sudica. Sometimes drizzle, drip, drip, drain. Sometimes picnic, sometimes rain. Sometimes dropping, steady chill. Sometimes frosting every hill. Sometimes sledding, frozen toes. Sometimes carrot, sometimes nose. Sometimes twinkle, winter white. Crystal Garden, Silver Night. Sometimes boring, wander, wait. Sometimes early, sometimes late. Sometimes clear, bright and glowing. So much melt, the mud is growing. Sometimes flying, magic swing, blooming treehouse, Happy spring. Sometimes dreaming open skies, 
sometimes chasing butterflies. Sometimes blazing secret trails, sometimes finding frogs and snails. Sometimes splashing yellow sun, sometimes soaking summer fun. Sometimes dancing vibrant trees, sometimes zipping out the breeze. Sometimes stomping leafy crunch, sometimes eating apple lunch. Sometimes piles 10 feet tall, sometimes jumping into fall. Sometimes wandering far or near, always knowing someone here. Always steady, stay or roam, always welcome, always home. I like that we can see that even though it rains sometimes, we always know sometimes it'll be dry again. Our last book for today is called I Don't Like Rain by Sarah Dillard. wants to play. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Oh no! It's going to rain! I like rain. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. What's wrong with rain? Drip, drip, drop. Drip, 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 drip. Drip 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 I don't like rain Drip 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 drop Plop flop When will it stop? Oh Splish, splash, splish, splash. I like rain. Who wants to play? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Splash, 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 splash. Splash, splash, drip, 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 drip. Oh no, it stopped. Oh, oh. No more rain. The end. Those friends ended up having fun anyway, didn't they? Okay, next up is Rachel, and she will explain to you this week's craft. Hi friends, I hope you enjoyed the stories about rain. For our crafts this week, the curbside craft, we're making an umbrella with little raindrops coming off of it. So with your kit, you'll get a paper plate and a little baggie with nine little beads and um, four pieces of either floss, or it might be some fishing line. So the first thing that I did, was I kind of drew an umbrella shape. So I just looked at the, where the middle of my plate was here. So kind of like this. I saw where the middle was 
and then I drew some little waves so that it looks like the bottom of an umbrella like this and then I drew lines coming from the middle to separate and I drew a, well I think I started in the middle so I drew one here then two coming off of here so that um, I would have one two three four five different sections so that I can make this kind of color pattern here then after I drew that with the black marker I colored it in and it looks pretty cool if you color it in with marker but you could use crayon too and then with the leftover plate because you'll have another half of a plate there I cut out along the edge here um, just kind of like a half of a circle and I made the um, the handle for the umbrella and I colored it gray you can color it whatever color you want and then for the raindrops I if you have floss or fishing wire I think it will be cut for you in your um, kit but if it's not then just go ahead and cut it into four pieces and so what you'll do is I taped it on to the back I thought it was easier to just kind of tape it because nobody sees the back anyway so it doesn't matter um, and so then I taped each piece kind of spaced out onto the, the back of the umbrella and then I this part's a little bit tricky so I slid a bead up here and then I kind of wrapped the string around the bead so that it wouldn't fall and it's kind of hard to see here but you might have to have a grown-up help you but um, you just kind of tie a knot around the bead to get it to stay where you want it you do that with each of your beads you might get blue beads or clear beads or a little bit of both to kind of look like raindrops coming off of your umbrella so that's your curbside craft and for your printable craft we have an umbrella standing in a puddle so what you'll get is you'll print off this background picture here so you've got a cloud and then your little puddles here and then the umbrella you can color yourself so um you color that i mean you can color it by itself so you color that however whatever pattern you want i chose a, a similar type of you know some primary colors here and then i cut along here and it's kind of tricky to cut around here so if you just if you want to cut um, right along the edge you can or you can leave a little bit of space around it cut that out and then i put it on upside down like that and i just glued it on and it, it's there's your umbrella and then i also drew kind of some raindrops um, coming down in all different directions and then um, colored my cloud and that was my craft so i hope you enjoyed those crafts and we'll see you next time